Hi, I'm Michelle, and today I'm guiding you through how to do your Kegel exercises after you've had your baby, either cesarean section or a vaginal delivery. Now, most women can start these exercises within the first week of delivery. Remember that the area of your perineum or around your vagina could be swollen and tender, so start these exercises really gently. I'm going to guide you through the correct technique to use, and then I'm going to show you some tips for how to feel these muscles because it can be really hard to even feel your pelvic floor after having your baby. Now you can do these exercises either sitting, holding, nursing your baby, or you can do the exercises lying on your side with a pillow underneath your head and a pillow between your legs, or alternatively lying on your back with both legs bent as you can see here. All right, so let's go through how to do these exercises. Now there's two parts to doing these exercises because there's two layers of the pelvic floor muscles. The first layer we're talking about is the outermost layer and these are the muscles that go around, encircle the sphincters, so around your vagina, around the anus and also two at the front around the urine tube. And if you look a little bit closer, and I'll do a close up here for you, around the vagina, the anus, and around the urine tube at the front or the urethra. Now these muscles close, they do that action. So we're going to practice that right now. So wherever you are, whether it's on your side or sitting upright, I want you to try and squeeze as if you're stopping the flow of urine if you're going to the toilet or as if you're trying to stop gas from passing in public. See if you can feel a squeeze and then relax. Try one more time. It can sometimes be easiest to feel around the back passage, around the anus. First of all, after having your baby, try to squeeze and relax. Don't worry if it's hard to feel. That's totally normal after having your baby. Now the next layer of muscles, the inner layer of muscles, are lifting muscles. We're going to be exercising those, or finding those muscles now. These muscles lift inwards like this, around your vagina, around the anus, as if you're drawing the anus away from a hot poker. So you're lifting up inside. So here we go. See if you can lift inside and then relax down. How did you go with that? Not easy, is it? Let's try again one more time. Try to lift inwards, don't squeeze your bottom and down. So what I mean by don't squeeze your bottom is you're not lifting and lowering like that because you're not squeezing your buttocks, you're squeezing in and around that anus. Now. Let's put the two parts together, the squeeze and the lift, and this is a proper Kegel exercise. So I find it best to squeeze first, so let's go squeeze and lift start now, one and two and three, and relax it back down and rest. How did you find that? Sometimes you might find that there's a flicker and it goes. That's fine, you've got that to work with. That's where you start. Let's go again, try to squeeze and lift. Go one and two and three and relax back down. How are you going with that at home? We'll try one more time. Ready? Squeeze and lift inwards. Go one and two and three and relax it down slowly and rest. So how do you find and feel these muscles if you're having problems with that? This can be really normal. It's a really common problem that women experience. It's like having an ankle injury, spraining your calf and having an area that's swollen and tender. We just can't see the area because it's inside, in and around your pelvic openings. There's a couple of things that you can do. Lying on your side, I'll come down into side lying here so you can see. You can use your hand over the outside of your briefs uh, and, or over the pad if you're still wearing a pad and you use that as a reference point to lift away from. So you can sort of feel then where your pelvic floor is. Alternatively, I've got a little hand towel here and you can roll that up and place that between your legs so that you've got a little reference point again to lift and squeeze away from. And that can really help you with, with your sensation. Now, how many of these exercises do we need to do? Well, you start off with what you can do. If you can do a second to two second hold, that's where you start. And if you can repeat that two times in a row, great, you're off and away. Gradually building up with what you can do up to six to eight second holds if you can. And you're trying to do those three times a day and you're trying to do up to eight holds in a row. So that's quite a few exercises to build up towards, isn't it? But the idea is to try and focus on getting the right technique for starters and build up gradually. Now for your training routine, 
that's linked above and in the video below so that you can actually start with your pelvic floor training to actually really strengthen and thicken your pelvic floor muscles. So I really hope these tips help you to find and feel your pelvic floor muscles after your baby. If this video has helped you, please give it a like below because then it helps other women find this video too. Thanks so much for watching today. I'll see you next time. Thank you.